the stain score naturally has lots of saccharomyces. So you want to keep it. If we want to cut it, use scissor. Don't use bare hands. Use bare hands, it's going to cut. So no saccharomyces. Now how are you going to treat this? You don't have to do that. You use fan to dry it. And after doing this, you can crush a little bit. If you want to crush, you crush. If you don't want to crush, it's OK. Then you add just a sugar. Put in a jar at 20 degrees Celsius for like 7 to 14 days. It will be extracted the liquid. We'll have the alcohol. Now in the classroom, I always say that several people are very smart. Several people say, if you can use grape to do like that, can I just buy some apple, buy some pear, buy some watermelon, then Okay, then cut it and add sugar there to make a like a fruit, fruit wine. Theoretically, yes, but don't do that at home. Because there's a lots of the natural yeast and the molds of those fruits, vegetables, and apples. Because they're coming from soil. There are lots of unknown fermented pathway. Sometimes they do not generate ethanol, they generate methane. If you if they generate a mess and you didn't treat it, it will cause your eye to blind. So don't make these type of uh, fruits wine just to take it uh, take it for granted by yourself. Think, oh, I made the grape wine by myself. Can I do that? Do the same thing. Uh, don't do it because they will generate a mess. Because naturally, there's a lots of the alternatives or I don't know. Fermentation pathway, we don't know. We know this is a standard, it's all it. Okay, so that's why I always emphasize in, in, uh, in my another class. But this is you can try, and it's pretty good. The key here is this dried fan has to do very completely. If it's a grape, it's still dr 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 wet, you don't put it there. Otherwise, that's gonna become very turbidity, and it's gonna be very messy, because not some natural flora gonna grow. Okay, so that's all I have. Okay, so we are almost get down to the uh, end of the semester. We have next week we will talk about uh, antimicrobials, and then another day we talk about the cheeses or dairy products. Okay, so the purpose of this class, at least you go to bar sometimes. As a, a very good undergraduate students or graduate students, you at least get some idea what the beer comes, what the wine comes. And what's the difference between aisle and the lager? And you, you know this knowledge a little bit. Okay? Well.